Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all doing well in today's reading. We'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. A little bit of Virgo coming through as well. Now this is interesting. Um, I was shuffling off camera and we will clarify here, shuffle on camera as well, but the way the cards are laid out, this king is actually turned around and looking in the direction of your spread. So there is someone here. A lot of you, you do share a past with this person who's wanting to come back around. I'm not sure you see this though, which we'll get, um, which I'll get to here in a second, but there is a very strong bond here. Some of you, you believe in twin flames. Yeah, that is, this is a card of twin flames, but you know, it, that it, those can be labels. I'm not really a strong believer in, you know, twin flame soulmates, those labels. But what I am getting here is a strong, not only physical, but mental and emotional bond, right? Usually a union that's difficult to break. It's almost like even if you are apart, there is some energetic link here. That is the vibe I'm getting. How you're feeling is how this person is feeling. There can be strong mirroring here as well, Scorpio. The situation between the both of you right now, we have Magician in reverse. So that is Mercury in reverse. I was getting this for other signs as well. So it seems that there's blockages in communication or there may be challenges when it comes to the way you communicate with one another. But I don't see... I see stagnation here because both of you aren't going out of your way to make this work, as what the situation is. Page of Pentacles. I'm not taking that. Why is Magician in reverse here for the situation between Scorpio and the person on their mind? Clarify Magician in reverse. Can be something to do with confidence here. <laughs> as I say that, Eight of Swords. Yeah, confidence issues, specifically coming from the person you're dealing with. Like, they feel like they can't make this happen with you. So fears are holding you or this person back. Justice in reverse. Hierophant. Some of you, this was a divorce here. You cut this person out. Queen of Swords because they were too inconsistent, hot and cold for you, and you're someone who's looking for something more stable. That is coming through here as well. How they'll be viewing you, we have five of cups, eight of cups upright. Someone who's disappointed in them. There is some sadness, um, but they also see you as someone who's trying to move on from whatever happened here. Why is, why is this person seeing Scorpio as the Five of Cups? Temperance, yeah, that you're healing from some disappointment here really is how they're seeing you. But they do see Three of Cups in reverse, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse, three of wands. You've turned your back. You're not waiting on this person anymore. They realize that the situation had you feeling very much down and defeated and you don't want you don't want to be a part of the situation any longer and that you are going in search of something that's more fulfilling for you and something that'll be fair, right? So that is how they're seeing you as someone who's leaving situations that are no longer serving them and moving forward in life. A lot of them feel that you have your back turned. How they're feeling, we have, or will be feeling, we have Six of Cups, Upright, Page of Pentacles in reverse. This person misses you. They have fond memories of you. They reflect, definitely. 
reflect back on what was. There's fondness. Fondness and affection is what I'm feeling. Why is six? Some of you, if you worked with this person, they think about that time. Perhaps one of you left the job. So yeah, look, judgment. World in reverse. They haven't let go of you. It's someone who's really looking back at what was is what I'm getting. And judgment, six of cups can definitely be reconciliation, right? It's like I was telling you there's the energetic link. It's almost like a past life connection here as well. If you believe in that, that's how it feels. Why is Page of Pentacles in reverse here for how this person will be feeling? Seven of Wands in reverse, but yeah, they feel something about you and they think about you, they miss you, but they're not investing any time and energy into this. They feel it's not worth fighting for, for whatever reason, right? It'll be, it'll be different for each one of you. Some of you, it can be that there was other people involved, three of swords, or there can be just trust issues that got in the way, right? Especially if they see that you're, you've turned your back, you're not giving, they're sort of mirroring you in that sense. Their intentions towards you, Seven of Swords. This is strange. Seven of Swords and someone's intentions is not the best. It's someone who's lying, hiding certain things about themselves. But if we look at how the cards are laid out, he's sneaking back towards your spread. And in their feelings, wanting reconciliation, but they have a decision to make. Why Seven of Swords here for this person's intentions? This is Aquarius energy, by the way. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign. Why Seven of Swords here for this person's intentions towards Scorpio? Yeah, some of you, this person was non-committal because they were playing the field. They had other options, but this is someone who can be emotionally very manipulative. There's illusions here, but Seven of Swords and someone's intentions, not a good look. Five of Swords, no, definitely not. This person doesn't have your best interest at heart. Some of you are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Three people here, but this is a win at all costs. It's a very stubborn, sort of guarded energy. This person plays mind games. They intentionally try to manipulate. And they have control issues. They miss you. Some of you, the reason they hold back, right, is because pride, right? Not wanting you to have the upper hand, wanting to be in control of the situation. Very few of you, this person is making a plan. They're strategizing. Yeah, they're trying to strategize when it comes to getting back into your good books or um, sneaking back into your life. That is the vibe I'm getting. So do, they're doing things underhanded. I don't know. But this is a card of someone who's making a plan here. They're very clever, Scorpio. Can be someone who was trying to pull the wool over your eyes here in the past. Something very sneaky about the situation. But let's see. I think what I feel about you, because I'm being drawn to the cat, right? He's stealing and he feels like he's getting away. But we have this cat. I, I feel this is your energy. It's almost like you, because you're coming through as very intuitive and Queen of Cups is my psychic queen, right? So it's almost like you already know what this person's up to before they make that move. So it's, you know what they're doing. What action they'll be taking towards you? We have two of pentacles, upright chariot in reverse. Indecision here, Scorpio. There's a strong urge, right? Wanting to sneak back, but it's up in the air because their head is telling them that, no, stay away. But their heart is saying, but I miss Scorpio, right? So that is why they're feeling torn. And as a result, because see, two of pentacles is I still have to make a decision. Things are up in the air. I'm confused. 
but Chariot is a major arcana. It is triumphing over the Two of Pentacles minor arcana. So I'll have to say that they're leaning in the direction of not coming towards you because Chariot is keeping things stuck, right? I don't see stability here. And I see that in your feelings as well. Some of you, this person was juggling, right? That is why Seven of Swords deception. Actually, I want to clarify the Two of Pentacles. And if things aren't moving forward, it's because this person was juggling. But what is this person juggling? Is it work, responsibilities, or is it another person? Okay. It's not really giving me work or, you know, if they're juggling per se, but it's more so telling me this person's thought process or this person's going back and forth in their mind. So overthinking, they have a decision to make. That is what they're giving me. You're dealing with a strategizer with the stoic expression, king of swords. That's my guy. Stoic expression doesn't like to give away much and has sometimes control issues. Sometimes has control issues. How you're feeling, four of wands in reverse, eight of pentacles in reverse, you're saying... There's no stability here. Um, as a result, I don't feel like putting in the work. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm not giving you any of my time, my energy, which makes me think that they were perceiving you correctly, right? As someone who was walking away, I see that in your feelings. Clarify four of wands in reverse for how Scorpio will be feeling. Same energy, Scorpio. Four of Wands in reverse, clarified by Four of Wands in reverse. I feel they don't want to give me more information, but it's more so telling me that, yeah, the situation made you very unhappy. And as a result, you're choosing to focus on yourself. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. You, your independence, whatever you have going in terms of work, that is what you're focused on. Why is Eight of Pentacles death was wanting to come through? So yeah, definitely focused on yourself. I don't think I really need clarity in your for your feelings, but I I don't know. Clarify Eight of Pentacles in reverse for how Scorpio will be feeling. Anything else you want to give us? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you were waiting on this person, waiting to see improvement, whether this person would step up, and you're just tired. It's a giving up energy. I forgot to mention the challenge between the both of you is coming through as the three of cups in reverse. Um, usually it talks about two people that aren't getting along, right? That you're not coming together for whatever reason. Definitely can be that third party, but that won't be for everyone, right? Why is three of cups in reverse the challenge here between Scorpio and this person? It can be this person's unwillingness to compromise. They're not doing anything. And some of you, this person wasn't the most vulnerable with you, right? They weren't expressing much. You didn't really know what was going on, where you stood with them. They're very secretive, high priestess. I don't, I'm usually not too fond of King of Swords upright or in reverse in a love reading. Because they are coming through as someone who's extremely detached. They had feelings, but they had a hard time conveying that to you. Um, they have a hard time, they have emotional issues is what I'm getting for some of you. But it can be also someone who's very logical, right? Um, which is why I, I don't want to be swayed by my emotions. So I'm trying to look at the facts. I'm analyzing the situation where that could have led to some differences, right? Because you're coming through as the Queen of Cups. You sort of follow your intuition. You follow your heart. And this energy is a bit opposite to you.
that is what I'm seeing. Your outcome, Scorpio, Queen of Cups, upright. I love this. I've been getting this for a lot of signs um, where they're coming through in their own reading upright. It makes me very happy because you're sort of um, embodying the more positive traits of your sign is what that's telling me. Calm, peaceful. Sort of look at the scenery here. It's very tranquil. So yeah, I see you sort of chilling. Some of you can be manifesting. Her eyes are closed. Perhaps you have some spiritual practices or you, you're you praying, right? But the energy surrounding you is very calm and peaceful, really. Clarify Queen of Cups for Scorpio's outcome. Anything you want to tell us? Now I want to point out to you, Scorpio, if we look at this person's outcome, we have three of wands, right? Who is this energy looking at? They're looking at you, but you seem to be looking away in the opposite direction and you have your eyes closed. So some of you, if you haven't you know, heard from this person, say for a while now, maybe even three years for some of you, three months, three years, three weeks, I don't know, but I don't think you realize, or you don't really care, because I was seeing you focused on yourself, but there is this person still looking at you, but you have your back turned. That was the first thing I was drawn to when I laid out the cards. You're all about forward movement. It's sort of, your mentality is I'm leaving the past where it belongs, right? And that is how this person was seeing you. Clarify the Queen of Cups here for Scorpio's outcome. Anything else? It's too many. Why is Queen of Cups here for Scorpio's outcome? Any clarity? Further clarity for us. Yeah. Queen of Swords. I'm cutting out anything that is no longer serving you. Surrendering. Going with the flow. That is what I always get with the Queen of Cups and this imagery and her dress. It's sort of someone who's just letting things be, right? Choosing the path of least resistance. I'm seeing that as well, but yeah, some of you, there was other interference from other people or just a lot of clashes in your personalities and you're not wanting to stick around, right? In situations that bring you drama, conflict. So that is what is coming through in your energy. This person, Three of Wands. Why is Three of Wands here for this person's outcome? Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles. They still look back at you. Some of you, they're saying, I want a friendship. Why is Three of Wands here for this person's outcome? Eight of Wands in reverse. Some of you, this person's literally at a distance and they're waiting for some sort of change between the both of you. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands, they're waiting. Why are they waiting? It's almost an energy, Six of Cups, Bottom Deck. This person misses you. And some of you, the reason they don't reach out Right? They were wanting to sneak back. They were indecisive, leaning in the direction of not moving forward. Fear of rejection. And some of you, you've turned down this opportunity in the past. So they see you as a missed opportunity. Right, Someone that got away, but they're having a hard time releasing you. Eight of Swords. Mentally very stuck on you. Again, Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius. right, And then Eight of Swords, also thoughts. So Mercury rules our intellect. It's all in their head. This is an overthinker, Scorpio. Strong air energy coming through. Not enough action, but a lot of thinking and waiting. Still reflecting on the past, missing you. Some of you, I am being drawn to her belly. She's pregnant. We have the children here. So something about children is coming through. Let's get you this love, love pack. receiving 
he's giving her a gift and she's open. Maybe this person wants to give you a gift here. We have pain. Whoa, your cards are flying everywhere. And we have pain. And doubt. Yeah, the, he's trying to give her flowers, but there's distance here. Some of you, again, physical, literal distance, right? But it can be emotional here as well for how they are seeing you. But trust issues. You don't trust this person. You have your doubts. But it can be mutual here as well. giving he's wanting to offer her the present never enough some of you this person felt used like they were giving you everything but it was never enough or it can be just doesn't have to be literal right it can be that i i, I don't feel like i'm good enough so there's some insecurities here as well Yeah, I'm seeing control and independence. Definitely King of Swords energy. Control issues. The wanting to control you, but wanting their freedom. That is the vibe. What is this person on Scorpio's mind? Yeah, I've been fighting my feelings for you for so long. Trying to keep you only as a friend. But it's getting harder to do. So yeah, this can definitely can be. I was seeing the Page of Pentacles here twice, so it can be someone was friend zoned here. Or they were trying to keep their emotions aside, right? Only seeing you as a friend, but there's deeper feelings here. We have lovers. I came alive in your presence like I was on top of the world, bringing out the best in me. Which is why this person looks back, right? Because of how you made them feel. You made them feel alive, happy. Perhaps they were going through something difficult when you met and you really helped heal this person because we do have pain here, right? Let's get a few more, maybe two more messages from this person to school. I said, um, if some of you believe in past life, that is what it feels like because of, I'm getting that energetic link. Despite you being separate, this person still feels you and you feel that it's mutual. I feel as if I've met you in a past life. You are so familiar to me, a beauty hard to forget. Yeah, this person will never be able to forget you. This connection is too strong. They try to, I'm getting with the King of Swords, they try to detach, but it's difficult. Losing you has been a devastating loss. I'm trying hard to pick up the pieces. This person's still jealous. If you were dealing with them years ago, we have. I get so jealous knowing there could be somebody else in your life. That is what is going on in this person's heart for the rest of March. If you take too long to decide, worries, ego, limiting beliefs, and the opinion of others will begin to creep in. Perhaps if this doesn't pertain to you, it can be this person, right? Or they waited too long to make a decision and there can be interference from other people, leading to more confusion, right? Frenemies. Be careful who you listen to and what you share. Not everyone has your best interest at heart. This is interesting and we have friendships here. So this can be your friend circle. But yes, we also have opinion of others, right? And frenemies, it can also be that situation where you're seeking guidance or advice from, from someone that doesn't have your best interest at heart. 
But also if I apply it to this situation, it's hard to keep you only as a friend. This person, right? Because in their feelings, six of cups, yes, there is feelings there. They miss you. But their intention, seven of swords. They're still deceptive. So that can be that frenemy's energy as well, right? Some of you, this could have been a very strong love-hate connection here as well. But yeah, I, a lot of you, I feel this is someone you known for a while and you left them in the past it doesn't seem to be a new energy some of you maybe even children right Well, the new person could be ending something of their own, right? Um, where they were feeling defeated, backstabbed, whatever their situation is. But your new person, yeah, they do have some releasing to do, but two of cups, the lovers. Uh, this is a very strong connection. It's a mutual bond here as well. Seems very promising. But this person's a bit of an overthinker as well. Nine of swords, 10 of swords. Some of you, they're holding on to some guilt or regret when it comes to a past situation. But they're moving in the direction of you here, is what I'm seeing. What is this person's intentions towards Scorpio? Wheel of Fortune? Hangman. Need more time. Going with the flow? But... Yeah, wanting forward movement in this connection, Six of Swords. Some of you, they're coming out of a situation where it was unrequited love, right? I don't see this as bad. There, Some of you, there's something about timing that is coming through, especially if you are at a distance, but it seems very promising. It's like their luck is changing. They're, they're coming out of some heavy energy, and finally they feel like the wheel is turning, but... Patience is needed when it comes to that situation. So it seems promising if you're dealing with a new person, Scorpio. But Wheel of Fortune Hangman talks about destiny and divine timing. Some of you, this can be a faded connection here as well. Those of you that are completely single, this can be something that is manifesting here with lovers to uh, Six of Cups. Yes, I think that is what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully this gave you some clarity when it comes to your situation. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.